Hi everybody, I'm now going to talk to you about another form of government intervention where there's market failure and this is tradable pollution permits. This is where the government say that there's too much pollution. Generally it's where there's pollution in industry and it's having a negative impact on third parties. So the pollution is leading to negative externalities. And the idea of the tradable pollution permits is to try and reduce these negative externalities. So when they've established that there's too much pollution, what they then need to do is they need to allocate pollution permits to industry. And these permits give the firms the right to pollute up to a certain amount. And these are sometimes given or sometimes firms must pay for these permits or pay for part of the permit. And when they receive the permit, it means that they're allowed to pollute a certain amount every year. The idea is that the total pollution allowed by all firms should equal the socially optimum level of output for that product so that marginal social cost is equal to marginal social benefit. So somehow the government has to work out what is the socially optimum level of output. But the idea is that when you add together how much all of the firms are allowed to pollute, the total pollution will leave us at this point of the socially optimum level of output. If the firms go over their allocated amount of pollution, then they will be fined. So if they exceed the pollution limit, they're fined. And this is a disincentive. This means that they are less likely to want to be polluting because they don't want to have to pay the fine. The really clever thing, though, about the permit scheme is that any excess permit can be sold to another firm. So if a firm is allowed to pollute, for example, 100 units, they could actually pollute 80 and sell the right to pollute 20. And therefore, they're making money out of this, particularly if they were given the permit in the first place. So the idea is that it's encouraging firms to change their behaviour because they have a profit motive. The profit motive is that they can sell any unused permits and they can sell a whole permit or they can sell part of a permit. But the idea is that by having this profit motive, they're less likely to want to pollute. They're more likely to want to invest in green technology so overall, we'll have less negative externalities. And what we'll develop is a market for these permits. And therefore, this method of government intervention is creating a new market for these permits. And through the market mechanism, the idea is that the amount of pollution will be reduced.